just thanking the Lord. I'm 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 just thanking the Lord. He got me through. 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 Everything. Everything. Look, I'm just thanking. Peace, everyone. Peace, peace, peace. Shalom, Elohim. Peace be upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High Elohim, Yahuwah, through His Son Yahusha. It's your brother, Uncle K. You already know what time it is. You already know how we're coming. Like the video down below. Leave a comment down below. Share the video. And if you're not supporting the content, support the content right now. And tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Gentlemen, listen, 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 man. Listen. You must deliver yourself. You must deliver. You must get delivered, man. Because as I'm seeing a lot of things in this world, how a lot of men are moving, men have strange fetishes, strange lusts. You know, the Most High in His Word says that men will forget the natural use of women and women will forget the natural use of men. And we are seeing that right now in the modern times that we're living in right now. We're understanding that everyone has their own addictions. See, but one of the biggest addictions in this world is pleasure. And the type of pleasure that it is, it's self-pleasure. It's not pleasure to go out there and do hard work. It's pleasure in thyself with alcohol, pornography, all types of things. It's just intoxicating yourself with things that's going to make your mind deteriorate and your flesh deteriorate as well, too. You see, there's a lot of men that's looking at the nakedness of other men, too. And that's a red flag right there. You're not supposed to see the nakedness of your father. When you look in these scriptures, you understand how things were back in the days. You understand Noah, when he was drunk off red wine, one of his sons didn't cover his nakedness, but two of his sons covered his nakedness and they were blessed. And then the other one was cursed. And these days you have men that love seeing other men's nakedness and claim that they want to be delivered from it. How are you going to be delivered from something that you keep delivering to yourself? You know, lately, I go to the gym now for about 20 to 25 minutes just to get a little bit of work done, just a little pump. And I don't go in there with quote unquote gym attire, AKA home clothes. I go in there with my t-shirt that I'm ready to work for the day. I'm ready, I have my jeans on, I have my shoes on, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go, just get a quick little pump, get back out in the field, just a little exercise and then get back to the status quo. But there's a lot of men in there that's actually showing off their nakedness in ways that's very revealing to the man that's dealing with that homosexual spirit. And that's the reason why society is moving the way it's moving. That's the reason why a lot of us masculine men are having a problem with certain women. And we have to be 100% transparent because us men, we deserve beautiful women, right? And I know I may be getting off topic, but you know, everything goes hand in hand, right? Because like I said, the, the, the woman will forget the natural use of a man. So sometimes she's playing around with a lot of strange men. So they both affections are just intertwined with each other and it's very odd and disturbing. So when a man is on a straight path, on a heterosexual path, it's very difficult for him to have multiple opportunities unless if that woman literally wants to be delivered but we don't save anyone that doesn't want to be saved. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High Elohim Yahuwah. Through His Son Yahushua. So, there's a lot of strange things that I see when I'm in that environment. You know, I see a lot of men checking a lot of men out. You know, just looking at the other man instead of just trying to get their work done. Just trying to lift that heavy barbell, heavy dumbbells and just get their press on they're right they're depressing the other man that's walking by them with a very tight tank top with a very tight little shorts you know it's, it's it's such a shame how the times we're living in now we see that women likes like men or the world in general to see the frame and the design of their body the structure of their body but as we're seeing right now in the times that we're living in right now we have men that are doing the exact same thing showing off the frame of their bodies the frame of their nakedness and a man if a man is is having strange affections for other men that he's showing the frame of his backside and that is very disturbing sometimes as a masculine man a man of yah sometimes i want to just kick dudes straight in their back you know a straight foot straight in your back boom yo what are you doing you know it's a very disturbing reality in these places 
and whatever is done in the dark comes to the light so don't even don't even imagine what they're doing in their households when the sun is up when it's sunlight outside all the strange things that's going on in these households when it's daytime outside because we know the wickedness likes to come out in the night that's why scripture always says too: do your labor in the day and then get in your house at night see the righteous we don't dwell outside in the dark we don't go into the clubs at night we don't go to the bar we don't go and kick it you know we go and get our stuff during the day we work we hard we do hard labor during the day and then we get into our abode into our rest in the presence of yah in our homes wherever you're laying your head down you stay away from all these other things that's going on in the world and you get back into isolation so he could take that take those burdens off you for the day that you were possibly dealing with but you see, there's a lot of strange things going on in this world. And I just want to give you guys a sense of awareness that stop placing your eyes upon these things. Stop masturbating to these weird affections and stop masturbating, period, man. Cut it out. It's not good for the man to continue to be living his life. It's not healthy. It's not healthy for you to, to stop it and then get back on it. It's not healthy for you. It's really not, man. It's really not really not you know individuals that's in the world they get a kick out of things like this but us men we're not supposed to get a kick out of it men that's seeking after righteousness men that's moving with the light of yah we are not supposed to be dwelling with darkness we're not supposed to be placing our eyes upon darkness we're not supposed to be shaking hands with darkness we're not supposed to be sitting in darkness we're not supposed to be eating dinner in darkness we're not supposed to be doing anything in darkness we're supposed to make sure that when we move in the presence of people when we're in isolation and the most high Yah was increasing us in light and he places us in a situation where we have to shine that light so they can see the glory of Yah. that's the only time you, you you come around these individuals but best believe when you're making righteous judgment sometimes you want to kick individuals in their back because they need to literally get it together if you knew you was dealing with something in your past when you knew that you were addicted to masturbation and you got delivered from that a long time ago and now you want such a different path and you feeling much stronger than you ever felt before and you're and you have the ruach the ruach hakadish holy spirit now you're seeing all this type of things go on and now it's starting to bother you tenfold 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 and see a lot of individuals will never admit it they will rather let it burn deep within them and like passion they will let that passion burn inside of them until the grave you know i had another incident too i'm hitting a tricep extension you know pull down real quick and it was a a, a, a man and a woman you know training together and this woman you know was checking me out looking at my cross with my denim on and this dude took a couple peeks too and i'm just like why are y'all both looking i mean the female yeah she 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 don't know like this guy ain't righteous he don't know what he's doing he a little effeminate you know she checking me out all right cool this dude go check me out you know it's kind of off but regardless she ain't even supposed to be checking me out anyway she's supposed to stay focused but that's what i'm saying too man you know a lot of these women they need to get delivered from these strange men too that has weird affections because if I see a man lick his lips at me when he sees my physique and I have clothes on, you know, it's a little off, man, because at the end of the day, lust is lust. You do not have to be butt naked to have lust. There's a lot of men that watch all these twerking videos and still masturbate, you feel me? And these women got clothes on, you know, they just seeing the shape of the ass, the shape of the breast, and just seeing things move and shake, and they can't control themselves, you know? So it's the same exact thing. You're just strange. It's just a lot of strange things going on. And I want y'all gentlemen to really pay attention to what's going on. Like, if you don't want to deal with the spirit of homosexuality, stop masturbating to weird things and stop masturbating, period. Put an end to it right now. Put an end to it right now. I mean, if you're watching this video right now, you need to stop conforming to your left hand and your right hand and to the laptop and a tablet and a cell phone. You need to be applying yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. You must be seeking wisdom, knowledge, and obtaining understanding with all these things. All right, you have too much potential to throw it away, okay? The world 
claims that they have potential based off of the materialistics and still living in darkness. And scripture says, do not envy the wicked. Do not envy the wicked. Always learn from the righteous. Abide yourself in righteousness and watch you go really, really, really far spiritually, mentally. And the Most High will give you everything you need physically in abundance but you must have contentment with what you have right now great if you guys got something from the video like the video down below leave a comment down below share the video and if you're not a supporter become a supporter right now if you're already not supporting the content i highly appreciate you guys for tuning into the video it's your brother uncle k shalom alaikum peace be upon you hallelujah praise the most high elohim do his son yahusha and gentlemen, you guys have a peaceful and blessed day. I'm checking out. Peace.